Hey guys, Derek from AMS. I'm here to tell you guys about how to make a healthy meal in a timely manner. So we all know that throughout the day we all work 8 to 10 hours. Um, it's difficult to get 6 to 8 meals made. That's one of the big excuses I hear. So today I'm going to show you two of my meals, how I make them easily and efficiently. There is ways to make them more tasty, but again, we're talking about nutrition and getting in a timely manner. So let's get started. Alright, we're at the kitchen right now. At the pan, I've already turned it on to heat it up. What I'm going to do is preheat it with some Pam. That's what I always use, basic pan original. Um, get it any type of Costco, which I think is the cheapest place to get it. I got my chicken, which I've already weighed out. What I need for this meal is six ounces. So I got 6.58, so I guess my dog's gonna get 5.8 ounces tonight for extra meat. I also got my fish right here. I need an eight ounce piece, which we are at about eight and a half. So again, dogs get some good meals tonight, that's for sure. So while I'm cooking this up, I'm gonna put this in the microwave. Again, this is all about time and speed. It's not about gourmet meals. On the weekends, I like to do is I'd rather cook my stuff on the grill, spend a little more time. So I'm gonna cut the chicken off the thing. Let's watch that salmonella. I like to use the scissors because I can chop up to small pieces, which takes me a lot faster. Um, different size. I'm not. I live in digestion being easier, so I try to cut my pieces up into small as I can so I'm not chewing my brains out. So as you can see, it doesn't take that long. Again, sometimes if I had the weekend and I have more time, I would go on the grill and cook all these up at once, which is even faster, but um, when you're on the timing, it's not easier. So again, you gotta run these under water. Always fear of getting salmonella. I try to wash my hands after everything. Okay. I'm a big sea salt person, so we actually took this from Outback. Sorry, Outback. I was running out of salt and uh, had a tape one, so I use salt in almost every meal. Nothing crazy, but um, definitely keeps me fuller, keeps nutrients in the body. And then one of my big ones, which I, I got a new kick, is uh, McCormick's Perfect Pin Salad Supreme. I probably use it on every single meal that I use, minus my steak. Um, just kind of kills the taste and gives me a little extra, a little bit, kind of tastes a little cheesy. So, that's that way. Now, like I said, we need an eight ounce potato with this chicken meal, so I had to go in. I like my red potatoes, so, again, we do a simple measurement. And usually the dog doesn't get any of these, so I usually just kind of cut it off and get extra. So right there, bam, we're at eight ounces, perfect. So what I'll do is take a trusty knife. I like to cut these up into small. Little nutrients. Again, I like them kind of small because it cooks a little faster and easier for me, so. A lot of people do these in the oven, which is great. Um, you know, it's definitely tasting. But again, we're talking about every day, and you know, it's kind of a pain in the ass to cook them up and use a grill. So I've learned how to make them tasty doing this way. I never have complaints from my clients who always smell my meals and want to know what's in them. So spices can be a big deal. I don't have any today, but I like to put rosemary in my potatoes and sometimes in my chicken too. But unfortunately, today we don't have any. So. Uh, so now what I do is a little bit of Pam first because that'll get from sticking. Give the chicken a little stir. You don't want the pan too high because again, it ruins the pans of course. So try timing. Now I'll get some butter spray. I can't lose hot butter. I don't go crazy with this, it's just enough to give it a little bit of flavor. A little shake. And again, I'll go back to my other two. So again, I would have put some rosemary in here, some type of like basil or something like that, but I'm currently out of those right now. As you can see, we're out of this one too, so you can tell I use it a lot. Like so, I'll mix it up. She's ready for the microwave. And as you get used to doing the microwave, you can you kind of know what times you can put them in. 
So I know that for a fact, 720 is perfect for mine. So, so what I'll do is come back over here, cook these up. In the meantime, right now, if I was getting ready for work or something like that, what I would do is put this on low, right here, and I'll have seven minutes to go, you know, brush my teeth, do anything like that, maybe take the dog for a quick walk because, again, I know the time's wrong like that, so I'll come back in a second and see what happens. How's that? All right, guys, we're back. Chicken just got done, so I am going to take it out. And because I know what's already been in the pan, I'm not going to clean it, sorry, but I'm going to prepare my fish for the next one. Keep it on low because we already know it's hot. We have the potatoes about 30 seconds in, so I'm going to quickly get my fish started. Again, it's all about timing and then that. I do this, I've been doing this for about 26 years, making my own meals. I actually prefer to make it because I know what I like and don't like. Don't get me wrong, my lovely girl Kim can make a great meal, just, but um, it's my responsibility for my meals. I hate the fact when I hear people who can't get their meals in because someone's not cooking them for them. So, you know, you're the one who chose the sport, so you should make your own damn meals. Okay, so that's on there. Again, I'm going to use the same one. You know I'm out of the other ones, so I'm going to have to dip into my reserve and see what I have left. Alright, let's see what I got. I'm going to California. Well, I'm going to use Mediterranean Turbo. Yeah, I like this one. Same type of company again. I really like this McCormick one. Um, it's just really good. Mediterranean's a little bit spicier. Kind of good for fish. Kind of kills that fishy taste. Same thing why McCormick makes some great one. The sodium is very low. Some of them do have that much in it so it's a great product. I also use these uh, other ones called Dean's Natural Grilled California Steaks. They're really good too. Just different spices. Um, always looking out. Always, you know, we're always passing little uh, tips back and forth. So potatoes are done. As you can see, they're nice and soft. We'll take a knife. Get a clean one so I don't... That way you can see they're nice and soft. They go right in. You know, a lot of people, I'm pretty simple. I always think like home fries and stuff like that, so I'll put a little bit of ketchup in those. Chicken's already been spiced, so that's what I'll do is slide it in. I'll kind of start to run a little bit. And I had this man a little while. This would be like in a couple hours, like three hours. Okay, lids on it. She's all set. So while I'm waiting for my fish right now to cook, I'd have time. What I would do is my pre-workout, post-workout type of things. So what I'd like to do is I take out my props that I need to get over. And no, these are not on my menu. This is what my lovely girl makes right here. These are not my type of supplements right here. This is a Funfetti. Um, girl loves to bake, so you can see what I had to deal with in the house at all times when I'm dieting. So. I notice like you guys who have kids and all that with little good stuff around so so what I do right here is most time pre-workout I would have pump fix so what I do is I'm using a two scooper I'm really not into three because it's too much um, I have back coming up so I definitely want to use two that's what I'm about I'd also so that's in pre-workout right there so we know the lid is ready Lovely little contraption made by Smart Shake. Post workout right here. I'd have two scoops of body more to carb free. I'm going with carb free one because I watch my carbs a little bit more. On occasion, I'll actually put a scoop in pre workout. Um, they mix pretty good together, actually. Doesn't I don't mind the taste at all. Some people do. It depends on your preference. And lastly, what I like to do is. Again, this is a back workout, so anti-fatigue kicks in again. So I'm going to use my hypertrophic X. I am a, the serving size is four. I use six. That's my serving. I've told you that since day one. It's just the dose I found that works for me. I also like to take an extra vitamin C. 
post-workout. Now let's take calcium magnesium, pre-workout. You're getting comfortable with blood flow. Actually, you should have been a pump because your blood flow is actually better. So that's what I use for those. And then basically what this thing looks like, stack it up. That's all she wrote, so I'm all pretty much done. You can almost see it's almost done. Then what I might do again is I might actually make my post-workout would be a protein shake, putting in again my doses of so forth. So as you can see, it doesn't take that long to make these. It's just consistency over the years of doing it. You know, you can use the, the ovens, to, you know, other things. On the weekends, make it a little bit easier to put your days when you're kind of cramped for time. You know, I can make another meal right now, doing my steak, chopping it up, get my potatoes ready again. So it only takes me an hour to make approximately four solid meals and two shakes. You know, and that's an average time for a day. It doesn't take that long. You can do it at night. So that's all she wrote. I'm going to continue making my uh, fish right here for my next meal. So uh, from AMS, I'm Derek Fondworth. Remember, AMS is the strongest supplements on the market today, baby. Thank you.